to talk to you today about a problem I'm having here in the garden. Um, the squash plant, see it looks so beautiful and so healthy. This is a violin, Rugosa violin butternut squash. And you see all these male flowers, but I have very few females right now. So you see, I've got a few right here. And this one, she is has turned. Her, her bloom didn't even open. Can you see that? So she's gonna fall off. And this one looks pretty good, but see it's turning just a little bit. So I wanna help them. I want some more squash. So I wanted to talk to you about the top reasons this could be a problem. Um, water, if this was earlier in the season, it could be that there are too many male flowers to attract the pollinators, but we're in October and I want more squash. So that's not the issue. So what I'm gonna do is go through and cut some of these male flowers off to give it a little bit of stress. It thinks it's too healthy. It's fat and happy, and I don't have to produce females to procreate my seed. So that's what's happening right now. I want to convince it that it needs to procreate. So it needs to produce female fruit. So I'm going to cut these, these males off. You can cook them and eat them if you want. Um, I usually put them in the compost pile, but a lot of people do cook them and eat them. Um, water could be a stressor, not enough water, especially in the summer if you're in a very hot and humid area. Um, we haven't had that problem this year. We've had a very wet year. We've only watered a couple of times. If you do have to water your plants, water early in the morning before the sun gets on them. Um, that prevents them from getting scorched from the sun. Be sure you water the soil and not the green. And try to water around the same time every day. If you have an irrigation system, awesome. That's great. Um, not everybody does. So that's a little tip to keep in mind. It could be too much sun or not enough sun. Uh, depending on where your plants are. I did have that problem with my zucchini this year. Uh, first time I had grown them in a container and they were very shaded and they didn't produce as much as, you know, zucchinis are abundant producers. So I know now that spot's too shady for them. So um, in the afternoon, if your leaves are wilting and your plant looks stressed and you've watered in the morning, then um, just offer them some kind of shade if you can. So I'm gonna go through here um, and clip off some of these. Oh, your soil. I wanted to talk to you about your soil. If your soil is missing nutrients, see here's two together. There's no reason for those two to be right together. Um, you will not have uh, females. It will, it will just produce males because it's just trying to attract pollinators. Anything that's damaged, just remove it out of there. Let the plant know that it needs to be doing something. And that's what we're gonna do now. Um, also, if your vines are very long like this, this is called stressing the plants. An old timer told me about stressing ochre plants. It was the first time I had honestly ever heard of it. But you can just come where your vines are long, come to the end of a bloom and clip off the end of your vine. That just sends signals to the plant that, hey, we're stressed. If we're gonna make seed we've got to do it now so they'll put all the energy it doesn't take hardly any energy to make a male plant of course because there's no nutrient in it but the female takes a lot of energy from the plant so those are usually the things that are happening if you've got beautiful vines and lots of males and no fruit uh, the other thing is um, fruit rot where you'll get a squash it'll have a bloom on it the bloom will rot and the end of her will rot and then she dies that's usually gonna be a water issue or a nutrient issue. So you may have to have your soil tested. Uh, we've got some information on the farmer's lamp about testing your soil and ways to improve your soil. So you can check that out. If you have any questions, let me know. How uh, long does it uh, take for them to pollinate each other? What kind of window? Oh, that's a good, that's good. Um, the male flowers, like I came out this morning at 4.30, all of these were open that early in the morning. The sun wasn't up there, they were just open. There is an hour to two hour window where the males and the females are open at the same time. So that's kind of a short window. And I'm in the, we're in October, like I said. So what I may have to do is, since there's not a lot of pollinators left around, get a Q-tip, uh, a makeup brush, or something real small like a child's art paintbrush. And you're gonna take a male flower and you're gonna rub it around See that pollen falling off there? You're gonna rub it around that, and then you would bring it over here to your female. She's not open, but if she were, 
I would rub it down inside her like that using a Q-tip or um, cotton swab or a paintbrush like we said, and that will pollinate. That's self, you're doing the pollinating yourself. And it's certainly an option, especially this time of year when the bees and things are kind of going away because the flowers are gone in the garden. So that would be my tip.